I'm here with the editor of the Lakers Nations, columnist for Sporting Tribune, the Cold Wire, and host of Jello Jiggling, a podcast that covers all things Lakers, Ryan Ward. What's going on, man? I'm glad to have you on the show today. Yeah, I'm glad to be here, man. That's yeah. here. Crazy week. Crazy week. I know I know it's probably insane. So of course I appreciate you joining in, especially with all the draft stuff going on and you know, just having to cover everything with the Lakers and and all the, the craziness going on. New coach, a lot of moves for the Lakers. So I'm just cut straight to it because I don't want to hold you up much longer than I have to. Some crazy stuff. Starting with the JJ Reddick hire, man. I had faith in JJ Reddick. I kind of have faith in him because he was a solid player, very consistent dude um, as a player. And in coaching, obviously, you know, you're going to need some consistency and stuff. But it was just wild to me that the Lakers went with JJ Reddick instead of pursuing some head coach who was like a vet because we know they tried Dan Hurley. Um, they even had interest in Jay Wright at one point. But they went with a guy with no coaching experience. So I want to hear your initial thoughts on that since, you know, that's very near and dear to you as your team's new head coach. What do you think about that? I think it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's absolutely nuts. I think it reeks of desperation and not having, you know, kind of a clear, you know, goal or plan. It's just, oh, LeBron likes this guy. Okay, bring him in. <laughs> oh, he, he coached fourth graders? Oh, that's good. That's cool. You got a podcast? All right. Sounds good. <laughs> it's so crazy, man, because I always say, I'm like, it's not about what you can do all the time. It's not about how good you are. But sometimes it's just about who you know. And this right here is just proof that, oh, my gosh, this guy is close to LeBron. So they say, you know what? Go ahead. Come coach with us. <laughs> Well, he must be the you must be the king of BSing. You know what I mean? He must like he, hey. must, he must be a smooth talker. He got totally, me. I don't know how the hell this happened. I mean, the Raptors didn't even hire him last year. So that tells you something. They're in a complete rebuild, and they're like, yeah, no, we're good. But the Lakers, you know, seventeen banners. You know, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and they're like, oh, let's bring in a first timer after we just fired a guy because he couldn't get past the first round. <laughs> Like, I just, it's just, just make it make sense. Make it make I feel like I'm in a bizarro universe. Like, everything just turned upside down. I just, maybe it, I died at the end of the last season or something, and this is my uh, nightmare. <laughs> it, it is. It is wild, man, to think. Like, and I didn't expect that because usually I feel like with most players who turn into coaches, right away we don't see them go to a head coach like immediately no we sometimes see them you know work their way up like assistant coach on a they're somewhere on the bench like helping head coaches out but to go to an immediate head coach and with the lakers like oh man i was i'm not a big lakers fan or anything but i just i expect more out of the lakers <laughs> i i expect yeah, a little it's, bit it's more like, it's like you want a raffle at a you know a fair or something you know <laughs> you just put in five bucks <laughs> Oh, maybe I'll win. Oh, I won the job? Okay, cool. Yeah. It's it, just, uh, I, I just, I, the guy is smart. I'll admit, like, that press conference, I had no idea what to expect. And mm -hmm. he did impress me a little bit with the things he said, but you can say whatever you want. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people are good at talking and convincing you of stuff, but then when it comes to the job, they just, they're the complete opposite, you know? So. Yeah, that's fact. I just, I don't know what to expect, man. I just, I think there's so much such a small margin for error that it's not good. And the odds are so stacked against him. It's not good. There's just, if it starts to go wrong, it's going to go really wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's going to be a it's lot just, of drama, a lot of crazy headlines. Oh, Y'all are going to be talking yeah, about. And then if they, <laughs> if they drop, if they drop Bronny in an hour or whenever, you know, they get on the clock, yep. that's going to be a whole nother ball of whack. You just, mm -hmm. I don't, it's like almost like the, the getting as much drama and crap. In what, this city, what, let's hey. draft the first timer. Let's bring back a forty-year-old, and then draft the kid who should probably not be in the NBA. Yeah, I, I yeah. mean, you know, that's that's the Lakers, man. That's that's a big stage, and the, all the drama that's happening. It's gonna make for a very interesting season <laughs> come next year because it's like oh, you mentioned, man. little room for margin, very very little room for error because. 
Oh, oh my gosh, man. It's, it's going to be rough if they have anything that go wrong. And you act, it's funny that you mentioned this too, because I heard you say something about banners. And I kind of want to backtrack a little bit because obviously we know the Lakers, they just hung up a banner. It wasn't a championship banner like everybody hoped. <laughs> but, but they did hang up a banner, the in-season tournament. So they weren't NBA champions, but they're in-season tournament champions. And I got to ask you, man, covering this, I know it was like, crazy and and so many different opinions but i want to hear your thoughts on the in-season tournament championship banner well it means nothing it means nothing (laughs) right now nothing okay i mean i was entertained i was entertained i thought it worked but i think in terms of i mean it's going to be a joke until it's 15 years in you know and, and people are really like talking about it and being about it but it's just you know they say there's that famous um saying like the first guy through the wall always gets bloody right mm-hmm. well the lakers were the first ones through the wall and then they hang a banner and then go figure the celtics are arch rivals <laughs> go win the championship, win the championship. <laughs> <laughs> there couldn't there couldn't be more wrong things to happen consecutively than has happened to the lakers it's just it's, rough. it's mind-blowing it's almost like somebody made a deal with the devil and now he's come to, you know, collect. <laughs> it's rough. It's rough for the Lakers, man. I, I, it sucks. I mean, obviously, whatever. I'm happy the Lakers won it. Cool, whatever. I, don't, I didn't really care who won the in-season tournament. But it's just, it's crazy because I just know if this was any other team, it wouldn't even have been a discussion. It wouldn't even been a discussion no. like, oh, are they going to hang up the banner? But the fact that it's the Lakers <laughs> just make it so much crazier. So that's why it just really stood out to me and and like speaking of the playoffs obviously we know Celtics won and the Lakers they kind of got cut off short early in the playoffs to the Denver Nuggets once again and I I've been seeing the rumors correct me if I'm wrong I've been seeing the rumors and stuff about LeBron possibly getting another big deal um kind of leading him into age 42 or 41 or something like that um and, you know, you know, I thought a big problem was that it was only LeBron last year in the playoffs. It was just too much LeBron and not enough AD and Reeves and, and D'Lo. It was just not enough help because when Brown was out the game, it was no scoring at all. And I'm like, for a guy in his 20th something season, it shouldn't be that way. And I'm just curious for you, have you seen anything that was different from what I noticed about LeBron? Was it a different problem? Maybe something that changed along the course of the season that didn't really click in the playoffs? Was it anything that was different? No. It's been the same <laughs> thing for the last, like, three years. Mm-hmm. Like, I think ever, ever since they won the title in the bubble, mm-hmm. it's uh, it's been exactly the same thing over and over again. Like, their biggest – or their – this all started when they broke up that championship roster. That yeah. roster was perfect. Man, with Rondo. Right? Was, whew, yeah, I mean, it was good. They just had the blueprint for a team that could have been successful for years, or at least maybe two or three years, right? Absolutely. And then they just go, oh, let's just blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> what? Really? Okay, okay. Genius, genius move. And then, you know, they just totally fell flat the next year. And then injuries just started to take over. Crazy. And that's been the narrative. For like three straight years, like, oh, if we only just got whole or if we got healthy. It's like, <laughs> dude, every team in the league is dealing with injuries. You're not the only yep. one. That's fact. So it's like it's just it's just leaning on excuses and and it's just crazy to me that that they're just gonna do the same thing again. <laughs> You're like, oh, let's let's run it back for three more years with LeBron for hundred and sixty million or whatever it is. Crazy. And then bring we'll bring on his kid. <laughs> the Bronny the, the James, I'm guessing you, you're not you're not all in on the Bronny James picking him up. You're not all into that. Even though it's a good storyline, guessing you're not in on it. Hell no. It makes no <laughs> sense. I agree. It is loco, man. It's like I just like and they just drafted a guard. I, yeah. I think he's a guard uh, Dalton. Um was Dalton what? Connect connect, right? Yeah, That's connect the, the shooter, the shooter. And he might yeah, be a help. Like, Oh, yeah. I mean, that was a good move. That's the first good move I've seen in quite some time. <laughs> in a minute, huh? You know? Yeah. And that might have been a mistake. They might have, mm. you know, had the wrong name in there or something. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I just, I don't know, man. It's just, it's laughable at this point. And you know what? I've been covering this team for over a decade, and I've never seen on the team and the team's best player like this before ever. 
Mm. Like even the dark, the dark days of Kobe, you know, like, you know, he was basically yeah. limping to the finish line. Uh -huh. They never turned on him. You know, the only, the only crap I saw at that time was like, oh, why did they give him the, the two years? Thing, right. But now they're like, no, we'll just give LeBron a three year extension for 160. Crazy. Which is, which he'll make more than 48 in one year. It's just crazy. I don't get it. I mean, I honestly think that they've exhausted their options and this is the only way that they can go. And LeBron's all for it. So he's just like banking money, trying to probably make it enough to, to buy the Vegas, to, well, buy the Vegas team or whatever that happens. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah, they want to expand. So that, that may be a case. And it's, it's weird to me though, that, okay. I mean, obviously we know LeBron is on the back end, but you have a young star in Anthony Davis who just, I mean, he, the talent is there. The potential is all there, but I heard J.J. Reddick say they want to fully invest in an AD, running the offense and all of that. But I'm like, okay, well, why not really shift the offensive game plan, the defensive focus, like, to surround Anthony Davis rather than LeBron? And, and to me, at least looking on the outside, I haven't seen that. Have you seen anything different? Correct me if I'm wrong. No. Like I said, okay, it's the same thing correct. every year. They don't they, – they say they're going to do one thing and then the, the complete opposite happens or just the same thing happens. And I honestly think for the first time ever, like maybe it happened in the past, but the first time ever so obviously, they're just trying to make money. They're just Probably. trying to put butts in the seat. You know, LeBron sells a lot of jerseys, sells a lot of crowds. Uh, you know, they probably want to get that farewell tour, and that's going to really, really make a lot of money, right? Mm. So they're just thinking dollars and cents. They're not thinking of Ws. And as, you know, Laker fans, that pisses them off. Yeah, y'all like, about you know, the W's. Y'all about the wins, man. Yeah. Y'all are about yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, that's one thing LA is known for. And that's I mean, hey, I, I respect the hell out of LA because they win. And it's like as much as I dislike some of the fans and you know the organization, the way they run things, it's like you gotta respect it because they had the winning history. So you gotta respect it. But look, Ryan, I know you I know you gotta get out of here soon. So I'm gonna just ask you three more things, man. I just need you to finish the sentence. Uh, some of these are set up. <laughs> I'm going to be honest right now, but I need you to just finish the sentence before we wrap up and cut to this JJ Reddit clip. So finish my sentence here. The Los Angeles Lakers will win their next NBA championship by. Never. <laughs> never. Never. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just I was about kidding. to say, damn, <laughs> never. I say, I would say a decade, dude. I would say 10 years. 10 years. Okay, what, 2024, so 2034. So what I'm hearing is the Pistons are going to be playing the Lakers in the finals. You know I'm a Pistons guy. But I, I, <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. So that's what I mean. I said Pistons got into 2034, 2038 to really start going back. So that's what I'm hearing. Lakers, Pistons, 2034 NBA Finals. Bet. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right, another sentence here that you got to finish. The Denver Nuggets are the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, Killy Seal. <laughs> I knew you wasn't going to say the Lakers that, <laughs> but I had to throw oh, it no. out. <laughs> I had to set you up. I had to set you up. And then last <laughs> thing too, man, you know, you just drafted Dalton Connect. So Austin Reeves and Dalton Connect are? Uh, Woody Harrelson clones. Woody <laughs> Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Those dudes are dope, man. That's going to that's gonna help the Lakers a lot, man. I, I really like that y'all stacked them up. And again, man, I'm not a Lakers fan, nothing, not huge on the Lakers, but I think that's dope, um, you know, that that those two are together. And it, it should help, but ultimately, I think we'll still see the same thing we've been seeing over the past few years, like you mentioned. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, Ryan, man, let the people know where they can follow you. I'm going to play this JJ Reddit clip and then uh, we'll that'll follow after you share, you know, your socials and everything there. So where can the people follow you? Where can they listen to the new podcast as well? Well, it, I get the same uh, handle pretty much everywhere. It's at Ryan Ward LA. That's Instagram, TikTok, uh, YouTube. Uh, I know I'm forgetting another one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And then uh, my Dylan podcast is on the Believe Broadcast Network, so that's where you can find that. And it's on all of them, like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, yada, yada, yada. 
Okay, bet it up, man. Of course, man. I, I appreciate you tuning in. Ryan, we definitely will be in touch throughout the season as well. And I'm going to leave you guys with the JJ Reddick quote. This is JJ Reddick uh, via, what was this audio from? I got it uh, from, from the NBA. Yeah, audio from the NBA via JJ Reddick. Here it is. What misconceptions or concerns about you that you've heard in the last few weeks are you the most like looking forward to dispelling when you're the coach? Um, it's a valid question and I've certainly heard everything. Um, you know, it's, it's been a really interesting, uh, six weeks or so, um, just in terms of, uh, you know, being part of the engagement farming, uh, industry, you know, it's been really interesting. Um, however, I, I, I don't really have a great answer for your, uh, question because I, I really don't give a f like, honestly, I want to coach the Lakers. I want to coach the team. I don't want to dispel anything. I don't. I want to become a great coach in the NBA, and I want to win championships, and I want my players to maximize their careers. That's all I fucking care about.